Hello, and welcome to our demonstration of our classical online virtual reality school. Thank you so much for taking the time today to learn a little bit about this. I would like to start our demonstration by talking about the platform a little bit and how we are organizing this school. The security of our scholars and teachers is as important to us in this environment as it is in a physical school environment. That's why we've settled on a closed system that only allows our teachers and our scholars to meet in this environment very purposefully. And then also we have another layer of security built on this as this is an electronic environment to make sure that folks that are not involved with the school cannot access the school, just like you would do in a normal physical school. So I just wanted to get that out of the way at the beginning here and now introduce you to what we're able to do in this school environment. Like any school, we have the capability to use a blackboard. So we can write, we can have scholars and teachers come up and write on the blackboard. But because this is a virtual 3D, three-dimensional school, we don't necessarily need a blackboard to be able to write. For instance, I can come over here and very quickly break out my 3D pen and write my favorite equation in space here. And our students and our teachers have this capability as well, which makes it very handy for group meeting sessions and being able to demonstrate something wherever we happen to be. So I'm gonna go take this now and put it where it belongs, up here on the blackboard. The other thing we can do in this environment is use traditional teaching materials such as PowerPoint presentations and videos. So if you'll watch the big screen behind me here, I will demonstrate that now. I get a little carried away watching the, uh, the rockets take off. Um, sticking with our space theme, let's talk about the other things that we can do in this environment that you can't do in a typical classroom. So let's say we're having a conversation about the inner solar system. While we can use PowerPoint presentations and videos, we can also use interactive 3D models in this environment. Let me show you what that looks like. If you'll watch out in this area over here to your right, you will see a model of the inner solar system come to life. There's the Earth, Venus, the Sun, Mercury, and Mars. We can actually grab that and bring it even closer. Whoops, try not to hit you in the head with the planet. So you can see how engaging this is and how we can bring everything to life in here. In fact, if we go down to the molecular level, I can even pull out atoms and molecules and make a bunch of these to share with the class. In fact, one of the things that we do is after we go through the lecture portion of the classroom session, we then take students into a bigger area and allow them to use these 3D elements, these interactive 3D elements, to build things that demonstrate to the teacher that they understood the classroom material. And as you can imagine, that is very exciting for them to have the opportunity to do something like that, like take various atoms and molecules and uh, bring them together as a glucose molecule to demonstrate to us how plants create food, for instance. So let me get rid of these. The other thing that we do in this environment is use location as a teaching tool. So I'm gonna demonstrate that for you right now. Let's say we're having a conversation about current events 
and we want to go to some place that's relevant to what we're discussing. We can actually make that happen in this environment. So I'm going to do that with us now. Pretty nice, huh? We can create any kind of location we want specific to the subject matter being covered in the classes. Location actually becomes part of the teaching tool that we will use to cover the subject matter. So here we have a pretty nice representation of the Oval Office and you have the best seats in the house. We can go even further and give you another example of a bigger location where we might bring a large group of students together to have a Socratic discussion. So we'll make another jump to another location just to allow you to experience that very quickly and then we'll wrap up this little demonstration. So we can do something akin to time travel and go back in time to Pompeii's great theater and use this place as a setting for a Socratic conversation about the great books, ancient history, anything else that uh, we want to cover in such an environment. We have a beautiful day here in Pompeii, but if we prefer something like a night sky, we can certainly have that come into play as well. We'll just go grab ourselves a new sky here. There we go. And we can have a conversation about astronomies in the Pompeii Theater, under the stars, and the Milky Way. So let's take you to one last location, our commons area of the Optima Classical Academy. And we'll hear from the head of school for OCA as he wraps up this little presentation. So That's we great. know you're a big advocate for school choice. What do you think about this as a school choice? I think it's a great option for a lot of families that um, want to stay close to their kids. That, mm -hmm. you know, the pandemic has changed the mindset for so many people. Uh, and, you know, I, I, I got to figure out, Erica will, t Erica will tell me about how, how much is in on campus, how much is at home how that works, yep. but uh, I think it's fantastic. And I love classical education, so. Yes, so a lot we, more of it. and in being able to teach it in an environment like this, that's so engaging, you know, for the students, because we've been doing this um, in other areas quite a, quite a bit. And there's been studies done by PricewaterhouseCoopers and others that demonstrate that um, comprehension and retention goes up as high as 45, 50% in this environment, because as you can see, you're completely focused in this environment. There's no distractions. The only, the only thing you're involved with is whatever's happening here in the metaverse. Yeah, Can't, it's kind of hard to daydream even. That's right. <laughs> Which I was really, I was really good at at school. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Dr. Dan Sturdivant, head of school at Optima Classical Academy, and I want to welcome you to our incredible commons area in the metaverse. I invite you to look around and see all that we've created, areas for student socialization, for student work, breakout sessions, and to build community. I'm so glad you had the chance to explore different areas for our scholars to learn in the metaverse, and I hope you'll continue to reach out and learn more about Optima Classical Academy and the opportunities that we have for an excellent classical education for your scholars, and I hope that you'll apply. Thank you so much.